2008, a group of friends and I were pretty tired of reading about global issues and not being able to respond. We found a huge lack of opportunities for young Australians to get engaged in global issues and feel a part of the solution. So over a simple coffee in St Kilda, we started YGAP to raise our voice, to take action and say we want to be a part of a generation that truly ends poverty. So it was a few conversations with a few friends that ended up, you know, building logos and websites in the back rooms at mum and dad's place. I eventually managed to get fee proposals together to get us on our first trip overseas. As the first trip to Africa for founding members, Malawi was an extraordinarily eye-opening experience. We witnessed the hardships that were faced by so many and realised we had been given the chance to do something about it. We were so, so green, taking 16 volunteers when most of us had never been to Africa, trying to build a school where we had to hand press every brick on site. We had no idea the impact this organisation would have. YGAP is about a, a generation of people coming together to come up with innovative solutions to poverty. We like to be able to do what nobody else would ever have the guts to do. To build movements and fundraise by pushing boundaries. In 2010, my brother, myself and two friends rode push bikes from Spain to Ghana, 8,000 kilometres to support YGAP's then project in Ghana. We were able to raise over $35,000 and literally change our lives while we supported a fantastic YGAP initiative. The Five Cent campaign was a great thing to be part of. One of the sort of YGAP elders put it forward as a suggestion and, and myself with a, a few awesome people were able to bring something together over a few months and then launch it pretty soon thereafter. We found out that there was $150 million worth of five cent pieces in circulation. We knew it was something that people would walk past on the street, vending machines didn't take them, parking machines didn't take them, but we thought if we created a campaign and, and activated our community and our network, together we would be able to do something really cool. Five Cent Campaign collected over 15 million Five Cent pieces. That equated to over $750,000 to support our amazing ventures around the world. Elio Costello who came up with this, he was in Cambodia playing with this girl who'd been a victim of violence. Her name was Theo. Thea kindly painted all my fingernails bright blue and after learning her story of violence, it inspired us to launch the Polished Man campaign to support Thea and the millions of children affected by violence. The Polished Man campaign started in Melbourne and has now gone global. <laughs> The Polish Man Campaign is an amazing initiative to end violence against children. We ask men and women to paint a nail during the month of October to support this amazing cause. The Polish Man Campaign is such a unique campaign and we're proud that of the $3.2 million we've been able to fundraise over four years, that $2.4 million has been invested into our impact. We do this two ways. We support children who are at risk of facing violence, getting behind YGAP entrepreneurs to mitigate the risk of kids being affected by violence, ensuring kids stay at school, ensuring kids have a safe home to sleep in. Providing access to an education mitigates these risk factors. Whilst we also support trauma recovery programs too, supporting organisations here in Australia and around the world that are directly working with kids affected by violence. We've had incredible people jump on board and lend their now to support this awesome cause. From the Hemsworth brothers to Zac Efron and Michael Klim to Vance Joy, Kelly Slater and Guyton Grantley, even Malcolm Turnbull last year, and over 85,000 people from 100 countries around the world. The journey of Feast of Merit started way back in, in 2012, led by a fierce group of individuals and an army of volunteers. 
they developed a concept that we all know today to be an outstanding business. Designing and building Feast of Merit was one of the biggest challenges we've taken on. A lot of volunteers coming and painting until the wee hours. The venue was amazing and I think if it was built any other way it would have felt differently. I think Feast of Merit, it's an extension of YGAP. The culture that we created uh, and the representation of what we are as people, which is inclusive and inviting and offering a sense of belonging to all our customers was something that was a true reflection of what YGAP is and what Feast of Merit was. The fact that we won a Melbourne Interior Design Award for hospitality was an absolute treat for everyone that was involved. It's burning deep out of control. In 2013, YGAP started a conversation with Spark International about marrying the two organisations. After spending two years in East Africa, Spark was born out of a realisation that change in these communities is really going to be driven by locals, uh, not by outsiders like us. We saw that there was a better way, and that better way was backing local entrepreneurs with local solutions to local challenges. So we set out to find and support these local leaders and entrepreneurs um, to help them grow their great ideas for their community. As a social entrepreneur, I have seen the program grow and how many entrepreneurs it has helped and becoming a leader in the industry. And we can only get better and get many more people out of poverty. YGAP was really well known for its movement building and fundraising here in Australia. Spark International was really renowned for its unique and powerful development model. And so this courageous conversation over 18 months happened. How do we marry and merge two organisations? And uh, we're proud to say that in March 2015, uh, YGAP and Spark became one organisation that's had the potential to go on and improve the lives of over half a million people around the world. YGAP started working in Bangladesh in 2016. Our impact in Bangladesh to date has been 88,000 people in less than two years. It's such an absolute honour to see where YGAP is now after 10 years. We are in a very unique position to continue challenging and changing the traditional development norms. We've got entrepreneurs right around the world improving the lives of people living in their communities. The organisation just keeps getting smarter and smarter. We have new people coming into the organisation, new leadership. I'm so excited to see where it's going to be growing in the next 10 years and even more. Why gap in a word? Fun. Cheeky. Bold. Possibility. Love. Can I buy a hyphen? Always evolving. Game changing. We are human. That's three words.